What is up you guys, it's Kavar here and welcome back to the channel. Now I know this video is about stretching my natural hair, but can we just get into how nice this afro looks on me? Like seriously, and I think I might be rocking this for a while. In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating to you guys how I go about stretching my 4C natural hair. Lately, I've been looking for new ways to stretch my hair to avoid heat damage, and I came across this product called the Curl Formers. So that's what I'll be using today. I also have my flexi rods handy just in case they don't turn out how I want them. Now to get started with using the curl formers, what you want to do is gently pinch the plastic tip and feed the blue rod through until it reaches the end. Now for the best results, I like to make sure that I'm twisting my hair at the root so that the hook of the rod can latch onto it really well and I can pull it through seamlessly without any snagging. I feel like the Aunt Jockey's Curling Cream is one of the best products to use for something like this because it just fully saturates your hair without weighing it down and just allows your hair to have the perfect amount of slip so that you can get this done with ease. Alright guys, so it's the next morning <clears throat> or next day. So we're going to start to unravel this and see what's going on. Me. And I tied my hair in a do rag. You can wear your do rag as a bonnet as well. So, okay. So, look, so let's try it. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. It actually came out way better than I expected. Let's do the rest. Wow. Look at the definition in that curl. Can you imagine? Wow. Look at that. That's amazing. And the thing is, it's so much easier to install than doing flexi rods. So if this turns out really well, this might be my go-to, to be honest with you. Wow, like look at the curl definition. This thing actually did well, I did not expect it. And all I used was curling cream. That's it. All right guys, so I've released all of the hair from the curl formers and this is what, and this is really unexpected. I did not know the curls would actually come out this perfect and they also have a little bit of fluff to them which i'm really surprised by because when they're in there they look kind of flat so yeah i'm really happy about it this is what they look like so now to start separating them i'm going to be going in with the biotin um oil and i'm just going to take a bit of that on my fingertips and i'm going to start separating all right as you can see the curls are not really holding up they're there but for some reason they're just freezing out so I'm going to try something different and I'm just going to pick this out and see what it can Let's just see. Like this is not something that is meant to hold our hair texture just because of the amount of frizz that is attained from this after using it. You're not going to get the curls you want, that's for sure, but you have stretched hair. And I think that's kind of like the point of this and why I purchased it in the first place so okay guys I'm back again and it's the next day and I decided to do a flexi rod set using the curl formers that actually made the installation a, much, a lot easier so I'm just gonna start taking this down right now and we're going to style it let's see how this turns out I actually lost my flexi rod didn't know where it was so I decided to use this and it actually looks quite good curl looks pretty promising to separate i'm going to be using this biotin premium oil it's really good for separating so yeah just to reduce the frizz you know the drill i'm not supposed to separate right now actually but let's just see what this looks like okay 
Okay. Okay. So let's just move on. Okay. Sometimes, so I double wrap them. So I do one here and then one the other one just so that I don't, I'm not wasting like all that space. So you can also take them down like this, which is what I do. I like unravel it because obviously it's going to be difficult. Unravel it. Try to disrupt it as little as I can. And then there we go. And the curl's there. And for this one, I'm just going to pull it and then unravel it. So those of you who think you can't do flexi rods on short hair, you actually can. So yeah. Just that on that. See this one. This one too. And it's good to put the oil on your fingers while you do this, just so that it reduces the frizz here as well. Looking good. So as you go back in, just apply more to your fingertips. And then you're just gonna separate, just to reduce the frizz. Because sometimes as you're pulling the ends apart, if your hands are not oiled, like you will ruin the ends of them. So just put oil on the ends and then just gently unwrap. And you're good to go, see? Perfect curl. This one I'm just going to unravel like that. There we go. Almost done. Okay, now that everything is unraveled, we are gonna continue separating, going in with the oil. And let's get started. Just grab small pieces. So wherever my fingers kind of align with the hair naturally, that's where I'm gonna separate. So this one split right here. I'm gonna twist it around lightly. And I do this so that the ends stay intact because sometimes they can fall apart when you separate them. And then there, we got that curl there. I'll just do one more separation. I don't separate too much, just enough or for whatever I feel suits my face. And then that's as far as I'll go. And so far everything is curling up really nicely, but Contrast to the curl formers, this is more of a curl that you're looking for. You want something like this. You don't want whatever it was giving before. Like you want it to hold its shape, right? As you can see, as I'm separating them, this is how the curls are coming along. And that's what I'm talking about. That's how your curls are supposed to be, hey. Okay, let me just continue. Right, so this is what the curls are looking like at the very end. And as you can see, they are very defined and beautiful, a big world of a difference from the curl formers that I use. 
And I would say the curl formers were very helpful in helping me achieve this style because it helped me stretch my hair without heat, which was a plus. Um, I also wanted to mention the gel that I used to do my flexi rod set was this Cantu styling gel. It's really nice. It smells amazing and it's very lightweight, which I love. That's what it looks like there. I've used up a lot of it, as you can see. So yeah, that's how the curls are looking. And I'm loving it. I hope you guys loved it too. But yes, please be sure to and please leave be a sure like, a comment in the comment video. section and let me know if there's any other products that you would like me to try or are there any, any other styles that you would like to see me do on my hair texture. And um, I hope to see you guys in the next video. I enjoyed making this one and see you later. Bye.